Hi everyone, I am Dr. Professor Shivani Mujumdar, MBBS, MS in Anatomy. Uh, I am the professor and head of the JMN Medical College and ex-professor and head of the Calcutta National Medical College. Today I will show you how to draw the femoral triangle. Now in the femoral triangle, first you will draw the anterior superior iliac spine. Then below and medially you will do the symphysis pubis. Now this is the opening of the obturator foramen. Now those two are connected by ligament which is known as the inguinal ligament. And this is the pubic tubercle. Now you draw on the lateral side of the thigh and the curvature is towards the medial side and next you will see the medial side of the thigh and the curvature is on the lateral side. Next you will see the muscle arises from the anterior superior spine that is the sartorius that is the flat muscles. This is the sartorius and it actually inserted into the tibia. Now medially you will see there is the drawing of the adductor longus. So this is the adductor longus muscle. Now in between there is the triangle you can feel in your own body that there is a depression here. And in this triangle the floor is from, from lateral to medial that is the iliacus, then the psoas and next is the pectineus. Now you will see and the part of the adductor longus also. So this is the base of the femoral triangle formed by the inguinal ligament and this is the adductor longus forms the medial boundary, this the lateral boundary is formed by upper part of the sartorius and floor is formed by iliacus, psoas and the pectineus. So this is the femoral triangle. Now you should do the citation. Citation means in the lower part you will write the femoral triangle. This is the inguinal ligament. This is the adductor longus. This is the sartorius. And this is iliacus. And this is the psoas. This checked one is the pectineus. So the drawing is complete. If you draw in this way in the copy, then you will get the full marks. So it has got the citation here and the labeling here. Thank you everyone.